Dark Academia, also known as this stuff inspired by this kind of media. You know what, I'm also gonna throw Legally Blonde in there because I said so. Is it really pretentious? Yes. Does it have its issues? Yes. Do I still really like it? Yes. Very much so. This is what my school looks like. It definitely fits the criteria. Sometimes all you wanna do is live out your tragic and mysterious English boarding school slash dead poet society slash Hogwarts dream and being on campus definitely enables me. Maybe that's not good for me and my general issues with romanticizing fiction, but whatever, it is fine. It's fine. So I knew that wherever I moved for this semester, since I was not allowed back on campus, I would have to try to recreate this vibe. And if you watch my moving video, you'll know that this is my room. And by room, I mean landing. It's an open sitting room. I got dead last in the room draw, but you know what? I was gonna make it work. <laughs> You know the phrase, one man's trash is another man's treasure? Well, I tend to live my life with a motto along the lines of mostly all trash has potential and therefore could be treasure. When I was younger, I would pick up just about anything off of the street and I still get weirdly sentimental about physical objects. It's a curse, but it also means that whenever I'm bored, I go on Facebook Marketplace or just drive around and find free or really cheap stuff. And that's exactly how I got my hands on this desk. It looked rough to say the least. It had a lot of issues, but I'm a huge believer in the power of DIY with just a little bit of determination, love, and tender care. So I sanded the entire thing and then tried to paint over the problem areas, but quickly realized that there were just too many and it would be easiest to paint it from scratch, which I did. I'm very sorry to say that I did not time lapse the actual process of me painting the entire thing, even though I'm sure it would have been very satisfying to look at, but I was very stressed because I was moving the very next day and also I was listening to podcasts, so I was a little bit busy, but my mom did get this picture and this picture and also this picture. What can I say? I was an artist at work. And here is me just showing you once again, my tendency to use the smallest brush known to man for the biggest projects. Don't worry, after this brush, I found a bigger one, which was then comically way too big for this desk. So I just don't know what I'm doing. Now, as we have already established, my room is not a bedroom, so some shifting was necessary, as it actually is a preference of mine to be able to sleep somewhere at night, usually in a horizontal position. And you might be thinking to yourself, Riss, don't you have no privacy? Isn't it weird to sleep in a house of seven people when you don't have your own door? And to that I say, yes. If you're watching this and you live with me, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> oh my God, no, I love my room. I'm so totally kidding. I've always wanted a completely open floor plan. Okay, bye now. I'll talk to you in the kitchen or something like that. <laughs> okay, are they gone? Please send help. Just kidding. <laughs> In all seriousness, I actually am joking. I think it's fun to have a space that's open and welcoming to everyone. And I feel kind of accomplished when people find it a comfortable space to hang out. And it's also really fun to say a little hello every time someone passes by. So it really is a good time, most of the time. <laughs> So I knew before I even moved in that I wanted my room to have a dark academia vibe, but organization is just the worst part of any project. And at this point I was running out of steam a little bit. It did kind of take me a while to get my room settled and decorated because I'm going to be totally honest with you here. School is, how do I say it nicely? Um... A killing me. It's a bit hard to romanticize academia when you have over 600 pages of reading to do within the next week. Is that a little bit of an exaggeration? Yes, the 600 pages are technically divided up between three people, but there's also like audio tapes to listen to and documentaries to watch. And also I had homework in all of my other classes and readings and more videos to watch. So am I still gonna say that it's 600 pages for dramatic effect? Yes. I'm just so stressed. I have so much work to do. I don't like this dark academia plan anymore. I just want peace. Please, God. Why are you doing this to me? But finally I had to get it together because not having a clean room stresses me out and then I can't do anything and then it's like a weird limbo of I can't do anything as long as my room's not clean, but that includes cleaning the room, so I can't, but I need to, but I can't, but I need to, but I can't. <laughs> This house obviously came furnished, so there was some decor that was decidedly not in accordance with the dark academia aesthetic. So I took those down and then did my usual first step of decorating any space, which is adding fairy lights. I think the real reason I like them is that I have a Pavlovian happy response to Christmas decorations. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> hey Google. Wait, what was the other thing? Oh, hey Google, sing me a song. When in public, wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> Help and care all around. Great. This is 
is a moose. I love this. I'm going to sneak up here late, late at night, and I'm going to ask it to play reindeer sounds for me. Uh, bottle, can of LaCroix. What is it? Is that a liquid? We don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Dark academia is so motivating. Making studying and aesthetic is the best thing I ever did for myself. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Pretty notes in high school is what helped me get better grades. Looking at pictures of nice libraries just motivates me for some reason. And being on campus was so good for that and well, anyway, if you feel like my voiceovers are not as jolly as they usually would be in this video, you're simply correct. I'm so tired. I use up all my funny energy at dinner when I eat with my friends and then I basically spend the rest of my time slumped in a half coma while I answer emails or do readings in my bed. Or I just get really silly at random times, like last night when my friend Dory and I found a plastic container of a bunch of tiny animals and then we basically played pretend with them for like an hour straight. Who let me move out? Oh God, I'm supposed to cook tonight and I don't even have time for sleep. Having a time turner sounds really good right about now. If that Hogwarts aesthetic could really happen and help me out, that would be great. This isn't even my mug. My name doesn't start with a B. So we've got my bed, which features my favorite item, my Ikea shark, and the sitting area where I read or people most frequently choose to sit whenever they would like to talk to me, and my collection of books, most of which are for school and about foreign policy or history or presidents, but Hello Kitty boombox and docs and me. Here's my desk, which features a variety of things. A sculpture of my hand and some jewelry, some books, ink for my fountain pens, and my letter writing box, which I put together this past summer, repurposed from a cigar box. It's got more ink for my fountain pens in a well that is easier to use, some letter seal wax, a stamp that is actually a little strawberry, and my stamps, which are very cute and weirdly expensive, letter writing, stationary paper, my calligraphy pen that I always use, and my other fountain pen, which I use most frequently for letter writing. Above my desk, I put up this Picasso postcard as well as the first and last pages of a book that I really like called A Prayer for Owen Meany. And in my desk, I have these Mozart matches that I don't know how I got my hands on and some of my favorite cassettes and my fountain pen that I reach for on a day-to-day -day basis. So yeah, that is my quote unquote room in the new house. And I decided to put on a slightly more dark academia look to match the vibes. So great. Now I have this dark academia room that I can do fun things in, such as lie on my bed and watch TikToks for seven hours straight instead of attending to my responsibilities. So if you liked this, please subscribe. I am so very tired and I spent so very many hours editing this instead of doing my schoolwork. You can follow my Instagram or my Twitter, become a patron, blah, 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 etc. If you guys know of any other like aesthetics that you want me to try out or look into, comment them below. And now I'm gonna go uh, watch some lectures or maybe take a nap or maybe slip into a coma. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do and get some sleep. Bye. Dark Academia, also known as this stuff inspired by this kind of media. Hello. Garrett? What's up? Oh, hi. Howdy doody. <laughs> this would be an amazing recording. I mean, it is recording right now. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs>